Hi and welcome. Now I've tricked you into Steve's Kitchen today because you want to know what the world's best no-bake cheesecakes are. And if you want to know the full list, you're going to have to hit that subscribe button, the little cog, so you get notified. Because today we're just going to concentrate on one of my favourites, the lemon cheesecake or the no-bake lemon cheesecake. Comment down below, let me know what your favourite no-bake no -bake cheesecake is and maybe I'll add it to my list. Come on, let's get on and make this no-bake lemon cheesecake. For my cracker base, I'm just using digestive biscuits, but you can use graham crackers or anything similar. Just pop them into a bowl, and then using a flat surface like a glass, we're just gonna crush these up. It really doesn't take long. I want it like a fine sand. I'm making individual cheesecakes. If you want to make an eight inch round, just double this recipe. The full ingredients will be on my blog, so check it out. I've used about three and a half ounces, 100 grams of cookies, and we need to bind that together with exactly half that of melted butter. And as I say, if you wanna make a bigger cheesecake, all you need to do is double this recipe. Let's just bind that together. You'll have something that looks a bit like wet sand. I want a little baking paper in the bottom of my pan, so I'm just going to fold a square of paper into a point like so. I just line that up with the center of the pan and I snip it off and that piece should just make the perfect little circle for the bottom of our pan. I did actually get an eight inch tin this time, but we're gonna stick with these little ones because while we're traveling, we're enjoying these little individual cheesecakes. Tiny little bit of butter just to stop them sliding around. Then I'm just gonna divide my mixture up into the two cheesecake bases. And again, with the bottom of my glass, I'm just gonna compact this down, get it nice and level. Set these aside in the fridge while we make the filling. The filling doesn't get much more simpler. We've got a 250 gram, that's about nine ounce block of cream cheese. I'm just gonna add half a cup of powdered sugar in with that. And then what you're gonna do is just cream this together until it's smooth. I'm going to add a dash of vanilla extract in there. We want to pack lemon in there, so I've got a beautiful lemon, and we are just going to grate the lemon zest. So I want to get most, if not all, of the lemon zest into this cheesecake and not just the zest, we want the lemon juice as well. So I'm just gonna cut this open and I'm going to squeeze the lemon into my hands just to catch the pips and just get all the juice in there. Then just give this a mix in. When it's combined like that, we want a third of a cup of thick whipping cream. Now you've probably got all sorts of devices to whip this up. I've got my humble little whisk here, but it does work and I'm just gonna whisk this up until it's thick. Now trust me, this little whip does work. Now I know a lot of you would just cheat and go for the cool whip, and that's perfectly fine. Take your whipped cream and let's just pop it in there with the cheese. And I want to mix this through until I get a lovely smooth consistency. That is just perfect. Are you still with me? Now comment down below, what would be your favorite cheesecake? Maybe I'll make it in the series. Just give that a taste now. Oh yeah. Take our cheesecake bases and then just spoon our cheesecake mixture on top of these. And then I just want you to push that cheesecake mixture down into the corners and smooth over the top so we get a nice flat surface. These just need to sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour just to firm up. Now our lemon cheesecakes have come out of the fridge. What you want to do is just release the catch on the side. You may need to take a little sharp knife around the edge just to release the cheesecake, though this one's coming out pretty easy. And then I'm just gonna lift that off and reveal our beautiful little lemon cheesecake. Now also, because we put it on the paper, it should release very easily from the tin. I'll just slide that out of the way if I can. Pop the cheesecake down there. Now these are candied lemons. And if you want to know how to make these, I'll pop a video up this coming Wednesday so you can check it out. I'm just gonna take a sharp knife and I'm going to cut about two thirds of the way up this lemon, lift it off my little baking sheet like that. Then what I want to do is take a little twist like this and lay it down on top of my cheesecake like so. And hopefully that looks beautiful. I can't lie to you, I love lemon cheesecake. With a little twist of candied lemon on top like that, it just makes it perfect. You can get and check the video up this Wednesday, see how to make the candied lemons, and if you make a bigger cheesecake, you can decorate all around the top with them. And if you want to double up on delicious, just take some of this beautiful lemon syrup and just drizzle it over the top. Now again, if you wanna know how to make the lemon syrup, check out the video on Wednesday. 
Now, if you make this at home, share a picture across me. I'd love to know what you think of it. Just come in here. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to get a bit of the cheesecake, a bit of the biscuit base. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yum, yum, yum. Here goes. Mm. Oh, that is super tart. Absolutely delicious. This is one of my favorite no-bake cheesecakes, but there are more to come. So keep them peeled. Next Sunday, you'll be seeing what my next favorite no-bake cheesecake is. So be good, comment down below, and I'll see you then. Now, if you love this lemon cheesecake, share the love, give this a thumbs up, and I'll leave a link to some other videos here on Steve's Kitchen. Don't forget, there are over 500 recipes for you to have fun with, knock your socks off, comment down below. I love to hear what you have to say. Be good, I'll see you next time.